Yo, what's up guys, Cell here, back with some final gear. And today I'm gonna be doing like a news update type video for the game and maybe a patch prediction style video. And I'm gonna try to be pushing these kind of videos out maybe once a week to get more notice about what's going on with the game as it doesn't really look like Kamoe is too keen on giving us more than like a two or three day notice at a time for what's coming up. Let me know in the comments down below if you like these style of videos and you wanna see more in the future. And if you do, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. All right guys, let's go ahead and dive in and get this thing started. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up the news for the three, four maintenance. Maintenance contents fixed errors with the Tachikoma, Agile, and ECM bits redeem collab exclusive uh, exclusive pilot sequences so if you don't know at the very start of the um ghost in the shell collab it, there was like some mix up with the summoning system they weren't getting bits properly i don't know why they put this in there i guess i guess they had to but this was pretty much fixed on day one as far as i know they added the ghost in the shell pilots into the pilot handbook I actually don't think they did this all the way through. We're going to check that to make sure, but I don't think they're 100% in there yet. Fixed the wrong battle pass pilot, which was an image in the battle pass. Nothing big there. Added descriptions on the Ghost in the Shell pilot sequences, and then fixed the blank Ghost in the Shell collab titles. Alrighty, so going over this one by one, the battle pass here used to have Pandora. They they did actually fix the Flavia bug as well. So it's no longer asking you for the Flavia mech and things like that. And we no longer have Pandora listed as the icon there. So, I mean, it wasn't a big deal, but I mean, at least they finally fixed it. And if you didn't know the Ghost in the Shell collab titles, they were buggy. You couldn't actually fix them. They were just, you, you tried to equip them and it was just like a blank square. So, you know, nice that they got that fixed. Let's go ahead and look into the handbook. It says they added them. So I'm pretty sure they added them to the, uh, the custom mech portion. So there's Mari, Shinji, Kaoru. So, okay, so they have Motoko, um, Bato, and Pure in there. So they do have them here, but I don't believe they actually added them to the pilot menu anywhere. So let's see here. Yeah, so here's the nerve pilot. So we, we see the uh, the Evangelion collab units there, but I'm not actually seeing any um, of the ghost in the shell units anywhere here. So, you know, let me know if I'm just missing them somewhere, but uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they've actually added it here. So they've only been, it's only like 50% added into the handbook, I guess. <laughs> and on to the sequences here. This is a little confusing too. Like if you read these sequences, it says, you know, a sequence used for ranking up Lee Angle star level and talents. And it looks like they updated the collab sequences, uh, collab sequences to say, you know, contains the most advanced theories on sequence, you know, whatever. Used for ranking up Bato's star the event exclusive pilots sequences cannot be redeemed to sequence cores. So I don't know if they don't understand or not that we can't get like the talent levels. So it doesn't say star level and talent level. It just says star. Like, let me know in the comments down below. Like, what are your thoughts on this? Like, I, I think there's some kind of weird disconnect here. It, it clearly says use for ranking up Motoko's star. It doesn't say anything about talents. Kamoe really, really needs us to have a way to get the talent levels leveled up on these collab units without just paying a, an absorbent amount of money. 60 to 70,000 crystals for the 50 um, you know, talent sequences that you need is absurd. They really need to take a look into this and uh, really do something about that in my opinion. And on this topic, it does look like the sequence store, the sequence core shop, it's um or not the shop sorry it does look like the sequence cores are unredeemable still you can't like you know make them you can't go enter into this menu so if you're not able to uh open this menu it's still bugged don't don't worry though i i guess they'll eventually get around to fixing it but uh you're not the only one yeah <laughs> all right i want to do something a little differently here i want to bring something up so we can talk about what may be coming in the future by looking at past events and looking at events from you know the other regions <clears throat> i'm not sure who to really cite for the source of all of this information here it does look like it's been pulled from a couple of different places so if you do know who this is let me know and i'll edit it in the description or the comment or something like that down below and i will have down in the description or maybe a pinned comment 
the um, link to this website if you want to go through and see the information for yourself. It does say here, like, you know, some of this information was taken from the Lena Elsa spreadsheet, which is a um, Chinese spreadsheet that someone made, uh, a YouTuber made over there. And I I have cited sources from those, uh, from that those spreadsheets as well. And it does look like someone named Camille uh, was also uh, involved in making this information. So whoever made all of this information readily available, I deeply, deeply appreciate it because this is very good for the entire community. But yeah, we're gonna go through here and we're gonna talk about the event history and try to do like a prediction of what's coming up. So let's go ahead and look at the um, Final Gear event history here and just kind of get an idea of what we're doing. So we can see the Misty Towers blessing happened on the 27th. And then we had the Ghost in the Shell collab on the 24th and Serial's, um, you know, battle pass right here as well with Motoko and Purin and, in, you know, the Welfare unit. So it looks like on March 10th, it's going to most likely be season one of the Border Conflict, which is going to be like the other pvp mode in the game so it's probably going to be kind of like an auto arena kind of mode or something similar to that is what i'm expecting so i'm guessing right after the ghost in the shell we're going to get another maintenance and then you know next week we're going to get that uh border conflict uh in there so on the 24th the battle pass of course for serial ends we may or may not be getting a new battle pass i think however we're probably not going to get a new battle pass because after March 24th, we are likely going to be getting Lillian's banner. So this is kind of what everyone settled on on what's most likely going to happen. However, some people are thinking that we're going to get Lillian with the border conflict. I've heard people, you know, guessing that maybe we're going to get Lillian right after Ghost in the Shell. Me personally, and I hope this is true, I'm predicting Lillian to be at the end of March or maybe the third week of March. I think that's when most likely we're going to be able to see Lillian drop for the first time. I don't think they're going to put her on the same week as the border conflict. I think what they're probably going to do is drop the border conflict and they're going to let that ride for a week or two. And then they're going to introduce Lillian. And then after Lillian, we, we you know, we might see the Eva 2 collab or, or something like that. But uh, for right now, for this month, it looks like we're going to get uh, Border Conflict next and then Lillian after that sometime. I'm guessing probably within two or three weeks, more on the three week line, sometimes towards the end of March. But hey, guys, that's just my thoughts on things. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about the Ghost in the Shell collab? What do you think? about the events possibly coming up. And uh, if you like the video and you made it this far, consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more information like this in the future. Hopefully I kept this one short and sweet. I'm trying to get these videos not so long winded. So hey guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Be safe out there, have a great day. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.